I finished talking to the waitress of Sam's Diner. And at this point, I'm gonna go back to the gym, honestly. I don't feel like there's anything else for me to just look around on. She did mention a few things about how she thought her boss was a good guy and this and that, but based off of her interaction, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out who actually would want to kill the owner of the gym. I'm going to look for some more clues, especially since I know I haven't looked through the gym closed due to the sudden and unexpected death of Joseph R. Dunn. Private service for family and friends would be held at St. Fergus Church on Friday, October 14th at 6 p.m. Ooh, okay. I do like collecting these low cards, especially since I feel like it would be pretty cool to have a nice little mini game on top of doing this game. But the thing is, this is this is a lot of cards that I would need to collect, honestly. A whole bunch of cards. Joseph R. Dunn. Seriously, though, who in their right mind would want to kill someone? I mean, obviously, there's multiple reasons and things of that nature, but in this particular case... Let me see if I managed to miss something here. If there's anything for me to click... Ooh, wait, hold on. I once shredded a bag like that, just out of pure rage. So I can't shred the bat anymore? Is that it? Wait a minute. On the surface, it seems dry, but there's no dust, and it's damp underneath. It could have fallen the day Dunn died. And there's tracks, too. Who do the footprints hmm. at the gym belong to? Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's this? I mean, it's pretty sturdy. If you want to box, train. If you want to win train harder well apparently this guy didn't want to do either option since they thought killing would be the next best thing here so this is the toilets right the harder you bang the muckier you get why are those why does this gym have so many little quirky sayings here? I'm just curious. What does it say? Fartin is the key to success? Oh my god, I'm done. Ha! <laughs> Stupid. Let's see what's the third one here. No dong, no glory. Wow, these shit puns are funny. I love it. I love it. And nothing else for me to click on here. Let me just go back. What about the other side? Locker room. Cool. What's this? Yank it out. Hurry up. Come on. You can't get it in? You can't pop it out? Hmm, locked. But a true detective never leaves home without his... Huh? Uh, yeah, I guess you're not a true detective then, since you left your... Sometimes even the most experienced detective has to go home to get his lockpicks. So let's go. 
Let's get the lock pick. That is a nice car. Holy cow, beautiful. That is so gorgeous. Wow, I hate when that happens. Just as hmm. you are about I to hope pick it up wasn't the phone. A client. Although probability would suggest a cold call. Or even worse, the war veterans therapy group. Huh. Hmm. I was pretty sure I left the lockpicks on the table. Okay, so let's search for them. Maybe you've misplaced them? Right? Oh my god, I just love this music. Okay. Right here? Is it in this pile? Holy cow. Hold up. Let, let me see. Let me see that photo right there. What if the only thing that keeps you going is the very thing that won't let you move on? It's too soon to say goodbye. She wouldn't hear me anyway. You know, that's how I feel right now. Me and my work wife are no longer in speaking terms. And I'm not going to go into details, but we didn't work out. But then again, it was a situation ship, so I guess it was doomed from the start. I just, I don't know. I had high hopes. I guess I had high expectations. We were on two different pages. I just... I wish her well, honestly. What did you do to earn the admiration of a millinery culture, distant cousin? Is there anything else I can take a look at? Or is that the only two things that I'm able to click on? Okay, I guess that's it. Wait. Is it it? I'm sorry, I know I like to be a little bit indice indecisive, but fuck it. It doesn't hurt to just double check, you know? Okay, so if nothing there, what about this bookcase? No? What about- ooh, the table! A little bit of a drink. I mean, it's five o'clock somewhere. It tasted even better the day Smirnoff brought it. In exchange for a favor. Nice. A favor no cop should ever be paid for. So you're just going to be so vague and not answer the question? Okay. Police Commissioner Smirnoff smoked that cigarette. Judging by the way he put it out, he was pretty nervous. You really know how to profile people, I can tell. Oh, another card. Yes, let's let's go. Let's go. I just love collecting this. It's so cool. It is so cool. Okay, so I assume that per page, there's actually multiple cards, which is insane. Given at the fact that if that's the case, that means I would need to collect a whole bunch of mini cards. But hey, I like challenges. Wait, wait, let me correct myself. Reasonable challenges. I like reasonable challenges. Another one? Ooh, Walt Hathaway? You know what? I'm gonna click continue. Yeah, why not? Alright, there's nothing else for me to click on, so... Moving away from that pile. What a- ooh, what's this? A frog? I'll click continue. Wait, what about that photo? Hold on. Dude, you serve the army? Thank you for your service. I really appreciate that. I really do. I had an uncle who served during Vietnam. So, I appreciate all he's done, too.
the view is beautiful here. Hey, these Morleys are the best. Cray expand now. NY Warriors, it's out of this world. A visiting friend once told me that New York City smells like a giant bonfire. Mm. I'd say the smell is rubbed off on me. That is the nicest thing I've ever heard anyone say about New York. Otherwise, I just love this view. Yep, that's where I left my lockpicks. Famous actress Natalia Wilford murdered at home. <gasps> Oh, fuck. Are you kidding me? That is so fucking depressing. Sometimes, I also use it to type out reports that nobody reads and invoices that nobody pays. I would have haunt people down. I'll be like, bitch, you better give me my motherfucking money after spending all my motherfucking time on your ass. Bookkeeping is not my strong suit. I'm good with expenses. It's the income I don't get. Damn, that's some... Um, that is a struggle. You know what? You can't really call yourself a detective if you're a teetotaler. But that's not what that bottle is for. The truth? I used tequila to clean my lockpicks. In fact, I just finished cleaning them when that rhino walked in. Maybe we knocked them down during the fight. Oh, like on the sofa. Yeah, let's go look under the sofa. Hell yeah. Come on. <clears throat> there they are. You are. You were right, actually. <clears throat> on point. <clears throat> Bro, just move the sofa. Come on. Come on. Just move the sofa. It's not... Can you not move it? Really? Am I not able to click on that X in any way, shape, or form? You're so corny, Black Sad. Come on. Uh, corny. Come on, bro. Please do something. Come on. I had a rough morning. Just give me something. Come on. I won't leave without my lockpicks. I'm not trying to leave without your lockpicks, if anything. Oh, what's this? Holy shit, this is how I access the notebook? So, okay, so I press the L1 button and it leads me to this. So I'm pretty, pretty stoked. So what do I do? Like, how do I... Uh, okay, so... Open notebook. Okay. I just love Black Sad's handwriting. And his notebook, like... It's beautiful. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna go through every single one of his notes because I'm pretty curious. Eugene Colbert. Unfaithful to wife? Offered bribe? Nope. Yeah, I remember that. Jake Austin Mob. Old friend. Young talent in boxing. Bobby... Yell. Promising boxer at Dunn's gym vanished the same day that Dunn died. Dunn's gym will have to close if he doesn't fight. Reigning champion Stone at Madison Square Garden. 145 Oat Stamford Street 1-3. So we actually know where he lives. Wait, hold on. I'm not done with the notebook. Come on. Okay, so what about Al Stone here? Al Stone, raging 
champion fight versus yell at msg in 17 days 17 days i have to figure out what the hell happened sonia dunn dunn's daughter sonia dunn hired me to find bobby yale joe dunn dead owner of dunn's gym time of death sunday evening gym closed sax player mary perneal cleans gym found dunn's body and called cops works at sam's diner same street as jim harley knows sonia barely knows yale and then for a weekly update weekly he works for the tabloid what's news okay come on there you go. I just love how he uh, ignores mm. the phone. It's perfect. Most detectives feel safe with a gun in their pocket. Me, I prefer lockpicks. At least I know these little fellows won't backfire. Get the phone, Black Sad. Come on. Get the phone, bro. Where the hell did you go, John? I thought you were on the case. I had to run an errand, but I'll be back in no time. You made a crappy impression, and now Sonia has second thoughts about you. I mean, what the hell do you want me to do? I need my lockpicks. Like, I needed my lockpicks. What do you want me to do? What, is she gonna boot me up a case just because? Like, bro, I needed my picks. Alright, in that case, let's just leave. Come on. Wait, is that... I never understood why I had to be born in New York. But the real issue is, why I'm still here. Maybe because you have no place to go. Maybe because you don't want to go. Maybe you have lots of unfinished business, like what we have right now. So let's go. Let's leave. Looking back, I wish I'd never found my lockpicks. Maybe I wouldn't have gone back to the gym. All hell was about to break loose. What you mean? We needed the lockpicks to open up the, the locker in the gym. Come on. I thought I was heading to the gym. Where am I? Bobby Yale's place was on the way, so I decided to drop by, lock picks in hand. The gym could wait. Okay. All right, I'm following your league then, Black Sad. Sonia and Jake had already searched the place to no avail. Wait, where? Wow, this is interesting. Teaching me how to lockpick. But a good detective would have better luck. I know Shit, not right me. behind you. Oh. Fuck. Yo, move. When someone Yo. hits you like that, you know you're on something. It's only fair to show some gratitude. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Oh. Long time no see. It's you. You actually did it. You ruined my life. But trust me, you'll pay for this. Now that my partner is asleep. Damn cat. Well done, Colbert. <sighs> what are you gonna do now, asshole? Now. <laughs> How about this? For every wrong answer, I'm gonna give it to you with this club. Deal? Didn't we just witness your lack of aim? 
Wrong answer. Ha! <laughs> Fucking asshole. Oh, Lord. First, well, second question. Mm -hmm. What the hell are you doing here? Weren't you gonna hit me? I'm still waiting for the blows. Oh, a good one. Ha! <laughs> oh, my Happy? God. Now, where were we? What the hell are you doing here? Ooh, what's this mold? This is interesting. Oh shit. Am I about to get hit? Seriously. What the hell are you doing here? Wait, I want to try that again. So, R2 to zoom. I what is this mode? I'm curious. This. A shamrock? Is he Irish? That's so interesting. I can actually pinpoint exactly what details this person has. And I'll be able to just detect it from there. Right? A shamrock? Is he Irish? Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. There's nothing for me to look. Now, where were we? What the hell are you doing here? Are you of Irish descent? I've got an Irish boss, just like my friend Colbert here. I'm sure the name O'Leary rings a bell, right? Desmond O'Leary. If you live in New York City, you've certainly heard of the richest bookie in town. After everything that's happened, I was beginning to feel like this case was finally moving forward. Wrong answer! But Damn, I was wrong. right in the face. One wow. more time. What mm -hmm. the hell are you doing here? I know your friend Colbert and his wife. Now he wants to insult you. All right, then. He's all yours. <sighs> all right. Now it's your turn. I'll call the boss. You'll be sorry for what you did to me, pal. You deserve it. Desmond, we caught some damn detective snooping around Bobby Yale's place. Yeah, hired by Dunn's daughter. Safe and sound? What do you mean, exactly? Hmm. Oh, sure. Will do. Colbert, stop hitting him, you beast. What a shame. We were just getting to know each other. <laughs> I know, right? And you hit you hit like a bitch too. Whoa, they actually let me go? I'm surprised. That's insane. They actually let me go. Question is, do they take my lockpicks? Oh, who's that? Okay. Thanks, pal. Mm-hmm. So, what else can you tell me about Dunn's death? Well, not much. My memory's not what it used to be. Oh, convenient, convenient. Dunn wasn't black. But he allowed you and Bobby Yale to train here. Yeah, this was the first integrated gym in the city, I think. What was Joe Dunn like? Uh, he was a decent man. Have you seen all those slogans on the wall? Those motivational yeah. phrases? Yep. Joe really believed in them. All of them. That makes sense as to why they're all over the gym. Joe Dunn or Joey Dunn? Huh? Uh, nobody called him Joey. Well, maybe his wife. Although, she didn't call him anything after she died. Ha ha ha! I like how his face changed. Ha! <laughs> he played the saxophone, right? 
Yeah, pretty well for a white boy. But he quit when his wife died. Makes no Damn. sense, right? I mean, nothing draws chicks like the brass. Why yep. quit when you're finally free? <laughs> I mean, his wife died, so it makes sense, you know? I better let you get back to your drills. All right. Wait! No! I got more questions! Hold on, I'm sorry. Two more questions. Two more questions, and then I'll finally let you go, okay? What can you tell me about Sonia Dunn? She's hot, ain't she? <laughs> wow. Okay. You two seem to get along nicely. Well, I've known it since she was a baby. But she sure has grown, uh, if you get my drift. You're a pervert. I hadn't seen her since she left for college about four years ago. It seems like her father's death didn't really upset her. Well, she likes to play it cool, which makes her really hot. Okay, I don't see the logic in that, but cool. Do you have any idea where Bobby Yale could be? Not a clue. You said Yale joined a gang back in the day? Know which one? Oh my god, gangbanger? For real? And now he's trying to reform himself? Hell, I don't know, John. This is New York City. There are more gangs than people. That's not a flex, but okay. If Yale's gonna fight the reigning champion, he's got a big career ahead of him. He hasn't lost a single fight since he turned pro. The little bastard beat the socks off me a few years back. Really? Seems like you're still salty about that. I dropped by Bobby Yale's apartment. I think he might be involved with O'Leary, the bookmaker. Uh, you sure? Yale had some dark years, no doubt, but Dunn turned him into a decent guy. I'm no d detective, but I wouldn't follow that lead. Do you know any of his relatives? Is his father, Av... Uh, Av... Uh, Avenarius. Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't he disappear 20 years ago? Yeah, and his wife, Bobby's mom, died shortly a a after. Dunn is the closest thing the family the poor kids had ever since. Damn, he really has no one. Let me go back to the locker. I think there is something here. And first of all, let's address this, shall we? What is that written on the lockers? Like... What the hell is this? Hmm. What the oh, hell? Oh, shit! Jake! Give me one good reason not to smash in your face. What the hell are you doing in my locker? Bro. I think you're hiding something, Jake. I thought we were friends, John. Get yeah. off me. Sometimes, <sighs> John, I can just <sighs> punch you. <clears throat> Cute. I seen that same pin. That same pin, my boy. <laughs> you're gonna tell me what, we're friends? Whatever. Let me crack at it on this locker. Books? Hull and Other Poems, Abraham Greenberg. Okay, so this man is a poet. He loves to read. That's cool. Your very own portable gym, up to five high resistant springs to boost your upper body strength. Add extra springs as you grow stronger. And he has two here. All right, so he definitely loves literature and he's definitely into improving himself on his career.
Okay, so I'm trying to figure out any possible clues that I can actually try and connect. Okay, so the buffalo that works for O'Leary wears a shamrock on his lapel. And Jake got mad when he found me searching his locker. Huh. Why do you have that pin, Jake? Because he's part of the gang. Here? He's part of the gang. It's obvious. It's pretty obvious. Can I look through it again? Can I take the pin? To my favorite bodyguard? Hmm. I'd forgotten that Jake used to work for Natalia. This proves I was right. It's too soon to move on. I'm surprised this guy's not coming at me again. Alright, so is there anything for me to look at besides the hat, the tie? Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Yes, let's address this now. Really? The racist brain is so full of hatred that there's no space for trifles such as common sense or, say, spelling. But this most cultured writer spotted the error and attempted to correct it. Not sure what to make of the outcome. Yeah, it's disgusting. I don't like it either. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.